Hi guys, John the Firearms Instructor, and welcome back to our channel. I'm glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, my name is John Johnson. I'm the owner and operator of a firearms training facility in beautiful Cape Coral, Florida. We're on the southwest side of the uh, Florida, way down south between Naples and Tampa. If you're one of our loyal subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate you following us, this family-owned business, on this journey through the YouTube. Uh, we have been so fortunate to have you guys, and uh, you're recommending us to people and everything else like that. We truly appreciate it. We've got to 3,000 hours, which YouTube allowed us to get monetized, and there are a few links below. If you're digging the videos, you can always do one of those chat heart things. That helps us tremendously. It's a small amount of money, but it goes to getting new equipment. We're trying to get a new camera. I'm using my iPhone for most of this stuff, and we'd love to get a nice camera. So you can help us with that. We appreciate it. And you can always uh, shop our swag store. The swag store itself is down below. And all you do is scroll through. We made those T-shirts. Those are custom-made T-shirts from us kind of has some cool sayings and things like that and you're supporting our our company as well it's got my little logo on the shoulder we keep them very our logos real small on them but they are uh gun oriented so they give you a lot of funny sayings and stuff like that get an opportunity to do either or we would truly appreciate it. can't afford it don't worry about it we still love you for being here uh and uh, you are tremendous important to us all right a uh, quick reminder about our next live, which is next Tuesday. Next Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. First live went off like a charm, so we're going to do another one next Tuesday. So we brought a gun out today. I don't know if you've heard of Sky before, S-C-C-Y Industries. They're in a Florida-based company, and they've had a Sky CPX-2 for a long period of time. We used, we've done some videos on it. But they now have their new product out, which has a flat trigger. I'm going to bring this up to the camera. Take this mag out. Put my hand back there. If you can see that. Can you zoom in on that, John? Yeah, sure. They can see the flat trigger. Flat trigger itself is going to make this gun a lot better. They've done a lot of unique things to this. It's a lightweight gun, 3.1 inch barrel. Comes with two 10 round magazines. It's got a lot of neat f colors as well as orange, blue, green, purple, red, black tops, stainless tops, optic ready. They have plates on them now. They're really stepping up their game. And guys, get the, you can't believe the price on these. I, I was shocked. I was blown away how inexpensive these weapons are. Inexpensive firearms normally in the industry are pieces of crap. But this one here... I'm telling you, I love it, man. It shoots really nice. That flat trigger makes it really easy. The old CPX2s had a really long, stiff trigger, and that was the only real industry problem we had. Uh, once you learn to shoot, it's a pretty good gun, pretty reliable, but at the end of it, you know, trigger engagement, is we always talk about that, that's what controls the weapon. The more we pull the trigger, the more we pull the weapon down as well. So, in my opinion... I think it's something you really should look at. If you could get down to the local gun store, if they have them, uh, put them in your hand. Uh, if you get the opportunity to shoot one, that's probably your better option for you. Where would this gun be? Is it taking the place of a Smith & Wesson shield? Is it taking a place of a Glock 19? No, the, 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 this is a total different piece. This is an add-on piece. You know, small enough, you could pocket carry it if you needed to large enough capacity for 12 rounds comes with two magazines it's got metal sights on it so you can actually use the table to rack it if you need to white dots real clean crisp two benjamins guys you know you can't believe the price point on these things so i'm going to go ahead and load a couple rounds mr johnson you ready for this i'm going to put my magazine on uh, i'm going to put my muffs on i'm going to put a magazine in this we're going to cut three or four or five uh, mags through this thing and give you my opinion how it's shooting okay give me a second here to load up muffs on john uh -huh. all right oh i think we'll go to the i think we'll work all the way out to the 21 right now and see how good a group we can get with this weapon 
21 yard, 21 feet, pretty good distance. You got to really work the trigger pretty well. Now I haven't done any oiling. I haven't done anything like that. I pulled it right out of the box. I like to do that. I like to test them that way. Uh, you really should uh, uh, oil the gun before you shoot it. Uh, it tends to work a lot better if you do that. Uh, but this gun is dry, but I think that's a good test for us to try and see how it works for it. We're using MagTech today, which is boxed ammo, and this is 115 grain. All right. All right, Mr. Johnson, you ready? That felt good. Shooting a little low on it. Yeah, but you always shoot a little low. Yeah. Your second shot was right in the center. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. I tried to repeat it, but you know, it's the gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sure. <laughs> it's the gun. It shoots nice, man. That trigger is wonderful. Let's see if I can creep that trigger back a little slower. It's uh, it's got a little bit of a little bit of a thump to it. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you got all that power coming out of the front of this gun. Yeah. We're not used to shooting 115s that much. No, we shoot 124. Yeah, 124s, but the 115s, I I I don't think I'm really over squeezing it. But uh, if that was the bad guy out there, I think I would have won. Yeah, I definitely would have won. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm going to try to work the top of the circle. So I'm going to play around with that one there and see what happens. Top one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit more pressure on the weapon. Okay. What's that? Uh, 15? Yeah. 15? One more mag, I One more mag, I think. Kind of give me an idea. Kind of works our numbers. 20 rounds. I'm still running that left a little bit. I'm going to turn my chin just a little bit more here, see if I can move it just a little bit. I like that piece, man. All right, guys, the DV-1s from Sky, uh, it's a great piece. I think if you're looking for a piece, you're looking for an economical piece, looking for something you can kick around, have fun with it, got messed up, it wouldn't bother you too much, this is an overall great piece. Could you protect your family with it? Could you carry it on a regular basis? 100%. We just proved that. That's at 21 foot. That's at seven yards. Put the rounds where they need to be. Remember, we always talk about vital triangle, guys. Uh, it, there's no excuse for not having a firearm. There's price points all over the board. You don't need to spend $5,000 on a pistol. A $5,000 pistol shot by a shitty shooter is still going to shoot bad. So, good opportunity. Comes in multiple different colors. Before with the old CPX2s, I would always recommend someone shoot it before they bought it. I don't know. This thing shoots nice. You just got to get yourself used to that trigger. What makes this gun accurate is that flat trigger. That flat trigger is in a lot of expensive weapons. These come with safeties and without safeties. So in the, in the realm of things, 
and you can get the optic ready plate on there and you know for the price point give it a try guys guys if you like what we're doing and you are don't forget to hit the bell icon like button and the subscribe and every time we upload a video you'll be the first to know until next time god bless be safe and remember you are your first line of defense love you guys